Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. Today's video is on a brand new medieval mod currently in development for Attila's Age of Charlemagne DLC. It's not quite ready yet, but I wanted to make this video to let you guys know that there's there's something like this being developed that has custom city maps, uh, including castles, custom units that look absolutely amazing across brand new factions in an overhauled medieval campaign set in 1051 AD. So there's so much to look forward to here. And in the next six months, it's gonna be releasing an actually blowing us away and i cannot wait for that guys so uh what we have here today in this video is just running through what we know about it so far if you enjoy it do give it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more like this and let's get started so starting from the campaign side of things guys what i see here looks very very promising it's on the age of charlemagne map which is a properly medieval map to begin with it's gonna have a fantastic array of playable factions dozens of factions across the entire map it's gonna have unique technology trees that are custom made by the modders as well including faction leaders and faction characters that are unique historically accurate and buildings building trees building icons that are completely custom made and unit cards guys brand new unit cards that look absolutely amazing very medieval looking and they they look really good too i mean as far as unit cards go they're very very impressive uh we're gonna get loading screens that are custom made as well obviously everything here is gonna be immersive engaging properly medieval looking and from what we what we can see here anyway it looks like a very very good start in in the mods development so far though, and what's gonna take up the bulk of this video guys, the most impressive aspect of this mod for me is gonna be the custom built city battle maps. Now, uh, I know we're all waiting for stone castles in Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD, and uh, this mod is properly working on it. The mod team are doing so much work, putting so much love into city battle maps, and what I see is so, so impressive. I mean, from the stone walls that you fall back to after your wooden outer wall, have fallen to the residential buildings you see here as well to the uh brand new archer towers and the forums the churches uh the you name it everything here looks really really good there's gonna be some city battle maps that are ported over from thrones of britannia as well obviously those city battle maps are brilliant some of my favorite for a uh, medieval time period so it makes sense uh to port them over as well but everything else here looks really really good i mean everything here that you see is custom built guys and it looks just insane i mean there is a massive massive amount of work going into making sure that when this mod releases at least some of the cities that you fight in uh on the campaign are like this they are custom built medieval uh you know you have to defend your outer walls as much as you can you can fall back to your more stone based buildings and avenues and and walls in the inner side of the city as well which looks really really good i mean for me this is going to add so much immersion and authenticity to a medieval mod like anno domini 1051 and the fact that they're working on this and making this a priority is really 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 good the only other thing to mention on this side of the mod is that, you know, we need to manage our expectations just a little bit. Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD, they're working on custom battle maps as well, but it takes a long time, right? And from what I can see here, a lot of these battle maps are going to come for, for the western side of the campaign first. So all your Catholic factions, Britain, France, uh, you know, Italy, all these Central European factions as well. I think they're going to get this treatment first with these stone masonry looking buildings, the fantastic, you know, know wooden palisades the the brand new custom residential buildings all of those are going to come for those factions first but then hopefully all being well we'll get these we'll, we'll get the same kind of treatment for the eastern kind of paganistic factions as well the orthodox factions out there hopefully for the taifas and the emirates of southern spain as well if the eastern roman empire even uh makes an appearance which would be insanely cool uh hopefully we get some some of those kind of custom even city battle maps for that faction alone Alone, which would be absolutely amazing um but yeah that's the point here i think there's a lot of really really good work being done here you know these custom city battle maps the layouts the walls everything is incredibly engaging incredibly immersive for a brand new medieval mod it's only just started in development as well this is only like six months to a year's work in terms of custom city battle maps but but from what i can see it's an amazing piece of work so far it's gonna blow us away so um that's what i wanted to say here uh we have to manage our expectations but from what i can tell it's gonna be an amazing mod when it releases 
Finally, guys, if you haven't noticed already in this video, every single faction in Anno Domini 1051 is going to come with completely unique unit rosters. And what I mean by that is not just from unit to unit, a wide range of units and diverse units uh, to play with, but also from an individual soldier level, from shield designs to armor to clothing textures and color palettes to flags on spears and different sword designs and axes. Everything here is going to be custom built with assets made from scratch to make it feel medieval to make it as immersive as possible and from what i can tell it's an impressive piece of work so far from this side of things the battles are going to come to life uh with these medieval looking units i mean the best thing about medieval kingdoms 1212 ad is the immense unit variety across every single faction and anno domini 1051 in this way is definitely not going to disappoint from these screenshots and from the video footage you can see here there's so much power passion that has gone in already in the year's work to make these units come to life and I am I'm definitely uh, very excited to get my hands on all this um it's also worth noting that the Anno Domini team have done this before so if you go into the Steam Workshop for Attila you'll find a 768 AD mod that they released not too long ago for Age of Charlemagne again it's a medieval flavor mod that reskins every single faction into that early medieval period uh, I highly recommend it it's a great great starter uh kind of like reskin mod if you want to have a bit more of a medieval style campaign in age of charlemagne uh but they've also done 878 ad four thrones of britannia so if you have that game you can check out their work as well uh and the point is guys they have a lot of experience here they have a lot of experience creating custom medieval assets custom unique unit rosters across their mods and they're bringing this to 1051 ad as well so there's a lot to be excited for here what we see here is all already impressive and I can't wait to see what else they come up with in the future. And that's it for today guys anno domini 1051 ad is a mod i wanted to showcase for you guys because next to mods like 1100 ad for rome 2 or medieval kingdoms 1212 ad for attila it seriously seriously impresses me it's still in development there's still a way to go in terms of uh when it's going to release hopefully it's the next six months and we can find out more about its campaign especially because that's uh that's an area that we don't know a lot about yet but uh from what i can see uh and hopefully you agree with me it's definitely got potential to be one of the best medieval mods ever made for a total war game i hope you enjoyed this video guys and found it informative if you did do give it a like drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below and let me know what you think about anno domini 1051 ad if you're interested in finding out more about the mod its progress its updates and hopefully a potential release date then definitely subscribe to the channel as well thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time